Good morning. Happy Monday, December 20th. It's a balmy 12 degrees here in Lion's Head. I'm your remote host, Ashley LaFleur. We have a great show in store for you this Monday. Of course, we have your weather, we have your conditions. We have 100 plus runs now open on Vail Mountain and earlier hours, but we have some great ways for you to enjoy your time while you're here in the mountains and we're excited to get things started on VDL right now. Hi, I'm Trisha Swenson. I'm Bratzel. I'm Ashley. I'm Ken Hovey. I'm Meredith Kirkman. I'm Ty Diaz. I'm Charlie Kennedy. We are VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL. Bell Baby Life. We are VDL. VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL and we're excited that you are with us this morning. I'm Trisha Swenson coming to you live from our Eagle Bell Studios. Ashley LaFleur, as you saw, was outside braving the chilly temperatures this morning. She is in Lion's Head and she'll be reporting there this, throughout the morning. We'll be with you for about the next hour. 7.30 to 8.30 is typically when you could find us. We might go a little longer if we're having some fun, but you can watch us in a variety of ways and you can interact with us as well. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can chat with us. There's a chat feature in both of those platforms. So if you have questions or if you just want to chime in from where you're watching us from, you can go ahead and do that. Also, if you can't catch us live every day, we are on demand. We are on Roku. We're on Amazon Fire, Apple TV. We're also a podcast on Spotify. So maybe you're at the gym or you're walking a dog or driving up from Denver and you want to know what's going on for the holiday week, we've got it for you. So lots of things to tell you about today. We're kicking off the, the full week of holidays. We're going to be once again checking in with Ashley and Lion said. And then also, this is a really cool thing. If you find it a little difficult to sleep at this altitude, wow, you can change literally change the altitude of your bedroom with altitude control technology. So we'll let you know more about that. We'll let you about some, know about some fun fashion picks with Skaya. What's coming up at the Villar Performing Arts Center? A lot of shows this week and next. And then Koji Kawamoto, the Pearl Expert, is over at Carrots. We'll give you headlines from today's Vail Daily, weather and terrain reports. And actually, let's get to that weather right now because we want to let you know what's happening out there. And this weather is brought to you by outlets at Silverthorne elevated savings and we have a chilly start to the morning and we have a little bit of an inversion going on right now Ashley said about 12 degrees over in Vail right now in Eagle it's three above zero and then Edwards six Avon ten so it's interesting sometimes on these really cool clear mornings the higher elevation which is Vail compared to Eagle is just a few degrees warmer but a little cold if you're gonna go out and walk the dog this morning put on that extra layer maybe wear those Ugg boots but then later on today we're gonna to see the temperatures reach into the low 40s upper 30s so it is gonna be nice once that Sun gets a little higher in the sky current temperature like we said low teens feels like four above here is a nice look at what the traffic's doing right now you could see pretty smooth along that Westvale exit a lot of traffic just kind of getting to work, getting to and fro today. And then for your next couple of days, here's what we can expect. Another day of sunshine for your Tuesday, similar temperatures. And then by Wednesday, we could start to see some clouds starting to build. And then by Thursday, snow showers mainly after about 11 a.m. And then snow showers continuing into Thursday night, Friday, Christmas Eve day, a little bit of blowing snow, and Friday night, another chance of snow. And then Christmas Day, a little bit of snow. So if you've been wishing for snow, if you've been asking Santa for snow, we've got it for you. Now I want to bring Ashley in to talk about our terrain options. Ashley, I want you to help me do the mountain report. We've been able to just... Got it open a few more acres you know day by day week by week we, we finally saw game creek bowl open this past week 
Yeah, it's so exciting. I mean, the fact that we are we have over 100 trails open at yeah. Vale right now, really, really exciting, especially given, you know, the forecast that we've had leading up to the season. And then, you know, just to see how rapidly they've gotten this terrain open, it just is a testament to the amount of work that it takes on the mountain with not only Mother Nature, but also with the systems that they put in place to blow that snow, to get it ready and make it make sure that it's a good product, right, that you're yes. skiing and riding on. So 33% of the terrain is open right now here at Vail. And what's really exciting is as of the 18th, we shifted to those 8.30 a.m. start times. So we have an extra half hour to get out on the mountain first thing in the morning. So, you know, you know how it works around here. Yeah. Like the earlier you get out, the better it is. Yeah, it is. You know what? And it's hard to get the, you know, we were just talking about my sister and her husband are coming in from Chicago and my husband was like, okay, we got to be on the lift at 8.30. And I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to like rally them at about 6.30 because they kind of like to sleep in. But it is, it's nice to get the groomers right away in the morning. You get a little bit ahead of the lift lines and, you know, and that's the thing. We just have to remind people that we do have limited terrain to what we usually have open this time of year. So you will wait in some lines. I went to Beaver Creek yesterday for the first time really since opening day, and uh, we did wait in the bottom, but they also have tier uh, eight and five open for you, Cinch Express, as well as Red Buffalo Express. And then um, they did open Sawbuck over at Butcher Gulch. So the lift is open, you can ski Sawbuck down. So for guests that are staying at Butcher Gulch, they do have that lift open now for you. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's so good just to see it like also like more snow in the forecast this week. And then just the way that they continuously, you know, they're, they're trying to get as much train open as they can. Right. Yeah. Like nobody is like, you know, we're just going to wait just cause, you know, yeah. like they, yeah. they're working oh, yeah. <laughs> as hard as they can to get that terrain open. So trust, trust that that's happening and definitely don't be ducking any of those ropes. Right. Might look good. Oh. Probably not the best thing. It's it's not safe to duck the ropes, and even going into the woods right now is pretty dangerous because actually you, you and I both hike. We we've, we've seen what's in the woods. It's fallen <laughs> logs. It's it's you know these twigs, the things that can catch you. You don't need like a tibia bruise or fracture right now. Your tib fib. You don't need any of that going on. Hey, but actually I got new boots. I finally after eleven years, and the reason I've been waiting. <laughs> is because I know how, like, I, I want a tight fit boot. I want, you know, I really dial them in. So the first couple of days for me are very painful with my boots. But, um, oh, yeah. but, but then, but then you, you know, it's fine. I mean, most people don't have to go to these extremes, but I want the right flex. <laughs> I want the, the shell fit to be good and really tight. But, um, so my last two days of skiing, they weren't very long days because I'm just trying to get things packed out a little. But I got my footbeds oh. in there. I, I stopped at uh, Christie Sports. Jim got me all set up. We basically took the same style boot I got 11 years ago and just got the modern version of it. So um, I'm good to go. And, and, and there's a I'm lot impressed. of luxury. You know, like, especially the women's boots, they have all that nice, soft fur and they're all cushy and you can get in them super easily we put a heel lift in so we we did the full nine uh, yards Trisha, yeah technology a long way yeah. in 11 years i'm very impressed that you've had your boots <laughs> for 11 years i mm, i think i go maybe like maybe like five and actually i went over to see jim at chris sports for my last pair of snowboard boots because yes. let me just tell you if there's a reason besides the fact that snowboarding is awesome the fact that the boots are so much better, I don't think I'm ever oh, no. switching to I know. skiing. But, uh, but he helped me with some custom footbeds and my snowboard boots as well. And it makes all the difference yeah. in the world. It really does. And, and you know what? And I think it's probably the most important piece of equipment, whether it's snowboarding or skiing. Oh. You know, you, you can dial in your skis. Yeah, but I mean, if your boots don't fit, I mean, that's what's channeling the energy from your leg to the ski, directing it as to what to do. So I always say, yes, let's let's invest in the boots. And then you can keep your boots for years. You can always rent skis when you come out here, but dial in the boot fit. If you're looking for a holiday gift, uh, maybe some foot pads, some DFPs, put those in, heat mold, and and it's all perfect. So that's that's my suggestion. That's if you're a, looking for something, I would 
completely agree with you, especially, you know, for somebody that has everything, right? Like yeah. You can, you can get them cut and molded to your foot. And I, I definitely had that experience, Trisha. Like, I, I remember getting some boots at, like, one of, like, the summer sales, right? Yeah. That yeah. happened here. And I was like, I'm, this is so great. I have saved so much money. I'm going to get these boots. I got them. And I tried so hard to wear those. Like, I think the third time, finally, I was in so much pain. Yeah. I went straight off the mountain and got myself my first pair of snowboard boots with the, the custom footbeds. It was an expensive day. It's yeah. a very expensive day. But then the rest, like for years, for the five years that I had those boots, so comfortable. That's the investment. Totally. Okay. Yes. All right. So hopefully we've, you know, implored our, our, our love for footbeds and, and proper fitting boots to everyone out there. Yeah. It's give the gift of comfort. You know, you can put heaters in those boots. There's lots of different ways that you can uh, utilize boots into some of your holiday gift giving. And I actually saw heated socks over at Christie Sports too. So pretty cool. But hey, we got to get on with the show. We got a lot of things that we got to do today. So uh, once again, hey, chat, let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, we are on Outside TV. This is Channel 17 on Comcast here in the Vail Valley. So a lot of times maybe you're texting and trying to watch the show or on your laptop. Hey, put it on the big TV in the living room, the kitchen, and then you can do your work. You can chime in on uh, what we've got going on today. But hey, we got to get going because we got a full show. We'll be right back. to discover more together. All pass prices reduce 20%. Prices go up November 21st, so purchase yours now. Bright Future Foundation empowers families and individuals affected by domestic violence and sexual assault through prevention, crisis intervention, advocacy, and long-term healing services. Join us in making futures bright for survivors in our community. Well, we are back with BDL, and I want to thank Velma on Coffee and Tea for getting our morning, morning started. If you want to uh, stop by their Roastery Cafe, they have their uh, big location in Minturn. You can get holiday gifts there as well, whether it's coffee, teas, or all sorts of fun products. And then their second location is located in Beaver Creek, where the old Starbucks used to be, right on the way, on the escalators, up towards the slopes. So um, great gift ideas from our local Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea Company. But headlines today, we got a lot of information in today's papers. So you miss a day, you miss a lot with the Vail Daily. So we're going to let you know what made headlines for Monday, the 20th already of December. And on the cover, you could see Jake Prophet with Alpine Ice uses fire to put the final touches on the ice sculpture Sunday during the start of the Vail Winter Fest right in Vail Village along Gore Creek. The ice sculptures were done in collaboration with Denver Bay artist Olive Moya. This just happened last night and these will be on display from dusk until uh, about 10 p.m. is when you'll see them all lit up but this will be happening from now until they melt. So check that out this holiday season. Headlines for today solving the housing riddle developers request support for housing projects and its plan could bring up to 50 deed restricted employee housing units in avon more on this on page a3 also in entertainment news hey if you'd like to go on a, like to go over to jazz aspen stevie nicks leon bridges and chris stapleton are going to be the headliners for this Labor Day Fest. The reason we're talking about this so early is early bird tickets go on sale today. So if you like to pop on over to Aspen during Labor Day weekend, 
Get your tickets today if you want to secure your spot to see these big stars. Also, we have the Veil Ice Spectacular. This is going to be an awesome show on Thursday. I've got my tickets all ready for this, but this features former Olympians and world champion skaters. So it's just a holiday tradition here, and you can sit on the ice, so you're literally like feeling the skaters go by you, or bleacher seating is available, so check it out. You can learn more on page B1. And also in this week's entertainment section, Kevin Nealon will be bringing the laughs to the Villar Performing Arts Center. And this is going to be next week, December 28th. Uh, this was just added. So if you're looking for a little comedy, if you're looking for something to do with your guests that are in from out of town, get your tickets for this because Kevin, of course, known for so many of his different antics on Saturday Night Live and the different movies he'd been in so and the TV shows. So check that out. You can get your details on page B1 and the Valar Performing Arts Center. Their box office opens at 11, so you can call or you can get your tickets online as well. So lots of things, and we have even gotten to sports so stay tuned we're going to give you sports news uh in a in just a while later on during the show because we have a lot of things to tell you but pick up today's paper you can find it for free in newspaper dispensers from eastville all the way down to dot Cerro, or go online you can find today's stories archive stories you can read the e-edition ed in case it's a little too cold to go outside you can just pull up the e-edition and see the whole paper page by page all the ads uh, the events calendar, everything is in the Vail Daily at veildaily.com. Hey, let's check in quick with our roads because with an absence of uh, any snowfall in the last 24 hours, we're looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty smooth. When you check out our, our four different sections here, we've got west of Vail Pass, we've got east of Vail, and we've got I-70, the main Vail exit, and Dow Junction. I always remind people that Dow Junction it looks pretty benign. Nothing bad should happen there. But you know what? The elevation drop between east to west and then those bridges and the curves, it can be pretty dangerous. So slow it down. Don't worry about trying to pass everybody through Dow Junction. Just take it easy. And if it does get a little hairy there, you can always take the Minturn exit and get off on Highway 6. If you just want to slow it down, get away from some of the semis. That's just a good plan when we do see some inclement weather, which could be happening uh, as we approach Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. We could see some snow in the forecast. But let's take it out to Ashley. She's standing out in the elements. And Ashley, you mentioned that it was, what, about... 12 degrees, 13 degrees out there. We have a little bit of an inversion going on right now. So when I looked earlier, Eagle is at three degrees. And then we've got Edwards at six, Avon at 10, and then Vail coming in at about 12, 13 degrees. So sometimes that happens on these cold, cold mornings where we had over, you know, really an absence of clouds overnight. It just really gets cool down in the lower elevations and a little bit warmer up in Vail. So that's a little a little weather lesson for you, the inversion of temperatures. But our temperatures are going to get into the 40s later on today. So it'll be looking good. But a lot of things happening, like I mentioned, at the Villar. Tonight we've got Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. This is a timeless classic. It never goes out of style. And then the Five Browns are playing tomorrow night. But let's bring it over to Ashley. She's standing out in the elements. And Ashley, okay, where did you make your make your way to? Okay, well, listen, I remember how last time I was out here, we saw the Town of Vail employees doing some decorating. Yes. And I just, I wanted to uh, point out whoever did the small wreaths is just making me laugh this morning. So I was walking into like the entrance of Lion's Head, right? It's just right behind me where the parking structure is. And this little guy, he just got, he just got a wreath on oh. one of his antlers oh so just you know like just like his just one side of his face is uh is decorated but there he is right there maybe maybe wee. he needs it's another one wee. like like earrings I, yeah. he's a little upside <laughs> like yeah like That's princess cute. leia you know, yeah like yeah but, um <laughs> i just i was like this is this is really funny that he just has a uh, wreath hanging out um but also you can see i mean they've done a beautiful job with yeah. the lights like there's a big old tree that's covered in blue lights right behind me but by the uh, the bus 
station, which by the yes. way, make sure that you have your mask if you are going to be using our public transportation totally free. Takes you over to Vale Village, really easy, really convenient. And then Trisha, I'm sure that you recognize this next sculpture. This is kind of one of the um, the sculptures that, that's been in Lion's Head and been part of part of the deal here for a long oh, time. Cool. But you see that one wreath? Yeah, yeah, on they got the wreath. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering so... if they were gonna have a wreath on there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, I mean, I love it. This one is called Uplift by Susan Grant Raymond. And I actually, you know, I have a photo of myself um, with this sculpture when I came out here on spring break in college oh. with all of my friends. <laughs> and little did I know that I would be moving out here from Florida and then calling this home for. Did, did, was it know, an action shot? Were you, were you like, were you like jumping and doing like the spread eagle, um, like that skier is? <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but we were kind of like all up on there. I wouldn't recommend oh, yeah. it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So yep. don't do that. Don't okay. do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but do, do as yeah, I say, not as I do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But the decorations here really are, they're just so beautiful. And what's, what's amazing, too, is that they use real tree branches. So, I mean, yeah. look at this, like just wrapped around the, you know, the light poles and I mean, these are, these are not fake. They smell yeah. just like you would want Christmas to smell. <laughs> oh yeah. But I mean, the, amazing, amazing. The Garland, uh, yeah, Vail, Beaver Creek. Yeah. They go all out for the holidays. And uh, you know, even if you don't ski, just go walk around town and, and check everything out and uh, view the beauty and get into the holiday spirit. It's super cool. Oh, yeah. And I just like, Trisha, I have to like, whoever did this, like, I don't know if it was one of the town employees, but let me just spin you around. But do you see how they've like bound the tree oh, wow. branches? Like somebody yeah. had to go in there like with some sort of, you know, metal cord and wrap these tree branches together to then ultimately make them oh, available to string up Lots on the of light work. Board. Lots of work goes yes. into that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, no, it looks yeah. great. And all of those, yeah, the other light posts down the way, the wreath on top. All right, looking good. Okay, are you seeing much activity at this point in the morning? You know, there's a lot of employees that have been, um, you know, getting off the buses and I'm seeing people like with their skis and their booths. They're, they're getting ready. It's a lot more activity than I've seen out here uh recently so yeah. people are they're definitely in town they're ready and especially now that you can do top to bottom skiing and riding in lion's head i think we've seen the action really really pick up so oh, i'm excited to show you more of this beautiful little holiday village i know i know our home and uh, i think they they open in just a little over a half an hour so yeah we'll start to see people right. going out there and getting the corduroy now because veil now opens at 8 30 yes. and closes at 3 30. beaver creek will always stay nine to four they just keep their hours but veil yeah they change opening hours they change closing hours all all throughout the the year yes yeah, nice to have that little extra half hour and oh there's there's more, there's noises, Trisha, noises. Oh, right, I'm to <laughs> is it the garbage to trucks? Where I can hear you. Yeah, the trucks. Getting okay. Ready, getting All right. Ready. Hey, we'll, we'll wrap. Oh yeah. They're busy down there. Okay. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to take it to a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to give you some details on, uh, Hey, where to go shopping, um, some holiday gift ideas and a whole lot more. Welcome to the club. What's going on? Get your arms up. Hours of operation. Whenever you need to feel good. The club has no dress code. You got this. No rules of decorum. Pets are allowed. Now we're up a storm. Quick, quick. You don't have to show your card at the door. There is no door to the club. There is no ceiling. And if you have 10 minutes, come on, come on. 20, 30, yes. and if you're wearing one of these, let's go. Take a walk on the wild side.
ride of your life is closer than you think. For the first time ever, buy your new car entirely from home with Nissan at Home. Delivered direct from dealer to driveway. Nap Harvest is your marketplace for locally produced products like seasonal organic produce, meats, eggs, dairy, breads, flowers, nap nectars, and more. It's the holidays, and Nap Harvest can help you with all the ingredients to make your holiday meals delicious. Or we have take and bake meals if you're in a rush. Nap Harvest has fabulous gift ideas for everyone on your gift list. Nap Harvest, your indoor farmer's market, opens seven days a week in Eagle Ranch. This Weather and Mountain Report is brought to you by Carrots Jewelers, creating heirlooms for over 50 years. All right, a little chilly out there this morning, but things are going to warm up quite nicely, much like yesterday. So we'll start out into the teens, even the lower single digits over in Eagle. We're three degrees right now. We're six in Edwards. Avon is 10, and Vail is right around 12, 13. Well, we're now up to 14 degrees. Once the sun gets a little higher in the sky, check it out. Our daytime high today will be 40. And a winds, really not much to mention, just maybe five to six miles per hour. And then with gusts, maybe eight miles per hour. If you liked yesterday, the day before, those afternoons, oh, just beautiful out there. And then we'll have a, an overnight low back down into the teens. And then as we look at the next couple of days, looks pretty similar for your Tuesday. Now on Wednesday is when we're gonna see mostly sunny in the morning and then clouds starting to build by the afternoon. And then Wednesday night, a slight chance of showers into the evening. And then Thursday and Friday, and even Christmas Day is when we could see a chance of snow. So that is good news. We definitely could use the moisture out here. So we're, we're praying to the snow gods to bring us some snow so we can have a white Christmas this weekend. But that's a quick look at the weather. Terrain options, we've been opening up more and more terrain on both mountains, Vail and Beaver Creek. Vail now opens at 8.30 in the morning, closes at 3.30. And then over at Beaver Creek, they're 9 to 4 all season long. And Beaver Creek did open Batcher Gulch Express, lift number 16. That accesses the Sawbuck Run. So that is open for you as of this past weekend. And then late last week, we opened up Game Creek Bowl or portions of Game Creek Bowl, more than north facing. So you've got Lost Boy, you've got your dealer's choice, those. And actually when you're going up the lift, it's like almost like that chairlift line. There's uh, the ropes, right? Uh, so the, the stuff that faces north, that has the snow on it. The other stuff still could use a bit more snow. So there's a catwalk that can take you down from the Eagle Bond gondola down to lift number seven. So that's how you navigate or take three. That's the Wildwood Express to Wildwood Restaurant. And then you can hop on the runs from there and then take seven out, which next year they are changing to a six pack versus a four pack, which would be great because the lines were a little long uh, this past weekend. But let's bring in Ashley now and find out where she's at. Okay, all right, you've made it all the way over to the Eagle Bond Gondola. I did, yes. I'm on the Garfinkel's deck and I'm just I'm, I'm swinging my arms to get <laughs> some of that heat moving through because it is still 12 degrees here at the base of the mountain. And of course, you know, once we see that sun come up, things will change, but ooh, it's, it is brisk, Trisha. And, you know, it's so good to see the coverage that we do have 73 inches season to date at Vail right now. So looking okay. pretty good. Okay. I like your gloves. Show me your mittens. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I like to have a little, you know, a little design, a little color. And also just uh, so you know, I have some toe warmers oh, in good. here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a lot of times if you go to get the hand warmers, um, like especially at the grocery store, they sell out first. Yes. So especially with the holiday season, you might just be left with toe warmers. No big deal. You just stick them right on the inside of your mittens they work just the same so thank actually you so yes <laughs> they're a little <laughs> bit bigger awesome. bigger bigger warm yes. more surface area yep <laughs> okay and i'm a, i don't know about you trisha but i'm a mitten fan like i can't do the the gloves that have the fingers like i've yeah. got to make fists pretty much at all times to keep my hands yeah. warm my hands and my feet always get pretty cold yeah so i hear you uh, 
I'm a mitten person All too, for sure. Okay, okay, awesome. Now also, you know, Trisha, inside this mitten right here, I have my, my wedding band and then also my engagement ring. And uh, not too long ago, my engagement ring ended up, it, it got bent, I had, anyway, the long story. But I took it over to Carrots in Vail. And if you haven't been over there before, Dan Talleen has a working studio uh, gallery, if you will. So he creates his own pieces. He can fix engagement bands and make them brand new again. And he also creates these custom pieces. He made a beautiful bracelet for my mom a couple years ago. And then I also got this really cool custom uh, belt buckle, it's vintage belt buckle that he made back in the 70s for my dad. And on top of that, he represents these incredible artists from across the world. And one of my absolute favorites, he's in town right now i haven't had a chance to see him yet but koji kawamoto he is a pearl expert right and the way that he uh, can match the pearl to the girl right like when you walk in the studio he does something where he, he calls it matching your atmosphere and he's done this for me before and it's amazing what he picks out and how it just matches with your skin tone and kind of just your whole presence and it's just a really beautiful experience to have so if you're looking for a great holiday gift that you can then gift on for generations to come going to see koji over at carrots would be one of my top 10 recommendations while you're in veil and trisha she always gets the awesome interviews right but she had a chance to catch up with koji so let's take a look at how all of that went down here we are at Carrots, and we want to let you know about the Big Trunk Show that's here this time of year. We have Koji Kawamoto, he's the pearl expert, yes. and then we have Dan Talene, who's been making jewelry in the Valley for how long? 51 years. 51 that years. came in 1970, and started Carrots in 19... I can't remember the year, but 35 years ago. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. And Koji's been a big part of this yeah, uh, place for yeah. a long time, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. 21 years is yeah, the Yeah. Years. I, I remember I met you in 2000. Yeah. Okay. He, he just came in the store and it started a relationship that's been good for both of us ever since. And the yeah. rest is history. Well, and you could see why, because look at these amazing pearls. So, Koji, give us a little bit of your history with pearls. Yeah. So, uh, I was born in a town called Mie Prefecture, Japan. So in my hometown, so Akoya oyster is available. So using a, like a small oyster, we started making these uh, Japanese Akoya pearls. So if you don't have any pearls, this is the most classic one. And, uh, so yeah, this is the first one to get. Okay, yes. And then beyond that, I mean, we've got the different colors, we've got the sizes, the shapes. It's amazing. So the Japanese pearls, that's colder water, right? Yeah. So they're smaller. Yeah, that's right. But okay, uh, in the end of the, the, the what do you say, uh, cultivation. So we move all those uh, oysters to a colder water. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, that's right. So, and then we, we can, it can it, we call it final makeup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that makes a beautiful last up in color. Like for how long? For a month? Sorry. Yeah, like three months. Three months? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a few months. And that okay. flash, that last hard flash of luster. Yeah, and that's the thing is you want to look for a uh, great luster, and and it's amazing to see how it changes with different pearls. Yeah, that's and, right. And, and everything. You know, so we started sending out technicians to uh, Australia. Uh, the Philippines and a French Polynesia. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's what we're getting the different colors yeah. here. You, a lot of times you'll hear about the Tahitian pearls. Yeah, that's right. Darker. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. black lip oysters. Yeah. So darker black. Is that only black? Oh no, yeah. There's lots of colors of black. Yeah, yeah. There definitely are. We kind of got the aubergine. We've got the pistachio. Just different types of yeah, greens, blue and blues. green. Yeah. Really cool to see them. See, fascinating. And then also the different shapes, you know, just to see kind of the organic shapes that nature creates. Yeah, beauty of nature. See? And it's also awesome. baroque shape. Okay. Yeah. And then I started combining all different color, right? And, and sometimes size and shape. So that's kind of pretty new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like about maybe 15, 20 years ago, nobody was doing it. But now I combine everything, everything. Yeah, and what Koji loves to do is match the girl with the pearl. When when you come in, you, you something clicks. Tell us about yeah. this process. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yeah, judging from your atmosphere, okay. or your 
이렇게 카라 어, 스킨 카라, 네, 아이 카라, 네, 헤어 카라 something always clicks in my head Your personality, yeah. yes. some people might call it your aura, but yeah. it's more than, you know, the aura is that, it's more than that, it's, it's just everything about you. Um, not everybody is going to wear a perfectly round pearl. Exactly. For some people, um, a pretty wild Wanna pearl go more fits baroque. a pretty wild personality. <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, that's I right. <laughs> Well, sizes you up quickly. All right, yes, he can kind of figure out what what's going to go work for you. Yeah. And and even the guy with the pearl, not just the girl with the pearl, we've got um, the pearl pendants that we can use Me? here too. And then on the, the show, it starts on the 20th, but Koji's yeah, here. Started. He flew in yesterday, it, so it started today, really. He'll be here, and he'll be here through the 27th, or what do we advertise? 24th. 24th. 24th, yeah. but... Then Christmas happens, and then after that, Koji will be here more. Okay. So, All right. Well, but just... we advertised 20th through the 24th to create some urgency to get in here yes. and see things. Get your, right. get your holiday gift giving mm. done uh, with this. Uh, so many great things to choose from. We've got the rings. We've got the earrings. So make sure that you stop by Carrots. They're located two doors down from the tour and across from the east or the west end of the Bell Village parking structure. Oh, always so fun when Koji comes to town. And like we said, the uh, the show starts officially today. It'll go through the 24th, but Koji's still going to be here uh, after the 24th as well. But Carrots, easy to find, just right across from the uh, west end of the Vail Village parking structure, a couple doors down from Latour. But hey, right now, we're, we're going to go from uh, the pearl of the day to uh, your lens of the day. And this is brought to you by Eyepieces, the art division. They've got seven locations, six in the Vail Valley, one over in Snowmass. But I thought I'd, in, instead of talking about goggles or sunglasses today, I would talk about helmets because this is another gift, a good gift idea. You always want to make sure you've got a good helmet and that you have a helmet. There's a few people out there that are still not wearing helmets. It's always just a good idea. You know, collisions, uh, trees, taking a bad fall. It's a good idea to have one. And this is the Anon helmet. Anon is a product out of Burton. And this is the um, Merwak uh, Wave Cell. And Wave Cell behaves like a network of hundreds of interconnected shock absorbers. And you can't really see, you can kind of see the wave cells in here. And what's really cool about that is it connects your head and the outer shell of the helmet. Wave Cell helps distribute the impact energy through its network of cells and reduces the impact forces uh, like the crumple zone of, of a car during an accident. And then it helps divert the rotational forces by flexing and gliding. A lot of this sounds high tech, but what it means for you is a better result if you are involved in any kind of an impact out of there on the slope. So uh, they've been working on this helmet for quite some time, so we're glad we have it. And uh, you can, um, we've got all the ventilation systems like you're normally gonna find. And it, you can put your audio accessories in here. Uh, the fit lock system, the snap with the buckle here, easy to get on and off even with your mittens so kind of cool to have that but you can find this at eyepieces it's kind of nice to be able to buy your goggles and your helmet at the same time so i'm glad that they got helmets for us as well okay uh what are we going oh commercial we've got a commercial coming up we'll be right back club one is a pivotal part of the veil lifestyle with spacious lockers to store all your gear in a ski in ski out location Club One is your mountain headquarters, stacked with club amenities and members-only perks. Club One, where the locals locker. Look your best with fashions from the outlets at Silverthorne. Mountains of brands to suit your style with savings up to 70% off every day. Don't forget to pick up a VIP savings card from the Colorado Welcome Center for even more discounts. Become an Elite Rewards member and earn amazing gifts. Outlets at Silverthorne, located 30 minutes east of Vail, exit 205 on I-70. Maui Jim sunglasses were born on the beaches of Hawaii, designed to respond to the bright sun and harsh glare of the islands, all while enhancing the view. After 30 years, we're still independently owned, and the free-thinking Hawaiian spirit that first inspired us is still a part of everything we do. Our Polarized Plus 2 lenses not only protect eyes from harmful rays, they also make colors more vivid, 
and contrast CRISPR. Try in a pair and see for yourself. The view is better from here. The holidays are here at the Volar Performing Arts Center. Joining me now, we have Ruthie Hamrick, and she's going to let us know about some holiday shows that are coming up. And, you know, Christmas Carol, of course, a popular one, uh, almost always sells out. So look for that on the website. But I want to talk about the Christmas with the Five Browns. Yes. So we, again, another show that we're having back that we've had before because we yeah, love them. Yeah, they played many times. They, and they have so much energy. It's, it's sort of a cross between a holiday show and a classical show mm -hmm. um, because they do play classical arrangements on the piano. There's five pianos on stage five grand mm. pianos on the stage behind us yeah yeah and they're brothers and sisters so there's the whole like just the the heartwarming vibe sort of between them um, but for this show specifically they'll play playing some um, classical Christmas tunes that you'll yeah. definitely remember Nutcracker um, Suite yeah. Carol of the Bells uh, you know just yeah your favorite tunes yeah and for this one again just like a lot of our um, holiday shows they're great for um, audiences of all ages mm -hmm. and we have family four packs we've got some great ticket specials um, that are for this show and a couple ones throughout the series so it's good to bring you know guests of all ages yeah. bring your family experience live entertainment together yeah if you have um, friends and family coming in early you know before the holidays uh, bring them out for this because this will get definitely get them in the mood and gives them something to do you know you can come off the slopes and people don't realize this performing arts center is here it's underneath the ice rink and the plaza level you've got your great tree decorated as well yeah we've got a beautiful tree beautiful decorations it's just the perfect time of year I think to make memories together um, mm -hmm. So we hope everyone will join us. And then, okay. of course, we have some great concessions, so you can really make a fun night out of it. Yeah, definitely. Dinner before or after at one of the restaurants in town. So 7 p.m. for Christmas with the Five Browns, and that is going to be on Tuesday, December 21st. VillarPAC.org for tickets. Oh, this is so exciting that the five rounds are coming back. And like we said, five grand pianos on that stage. This is tomorrow night. So Tuesday tonight, Charles Dickens' uh, Christmas Carol. They were close to being sold out the last time I checked, but you can still look online, VillarPAC.org for more information. But hey, let's take it out to Ashley. She's standing by in Lion's said She's braving the cold weather this morning. Oh, you made it over to the ice rink. Hey, Ashley, I don't know if you saw the show this weekend, but Charlie was on the rink and she was kind of holding the camera and she was skating around. And then uh, Ty said, hey, give the camera to Blake, her camera person. And then Blake showed her, you know, doing all of her fancy stuff. So cool. I mean, she's so talented. Like our crew here is so ridiculously talented. I, I tell you, I'm not going to do that for you today. No. But I will let you know <laughs> that if you want to come out and you want to try your moves on the ice rink, that it's only $20 for adults and then $15 for kids. And that includes the rental of your skates. Okay. And uh, this is the, I believe it's the Alderhof. Sky, uh, ice skating. Let me let me double check my my sources here. Uh -huh. um, but a great a great opportunity if you don't want to necessarily get out on the mountain. It's something else you can do with your family. The yes, the Alderhof ice rink, and it does open, <clears throat> I believe, at four o'clock. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they're four. I think they're four. And then I think the rink um, over in Beaver Creek is noon to 9 p.m. And this is fun. You know, it's fun to get out there. I'm not that good of a skater. I can stay upright and I can I can kind of go backwards. I learned on the rivers uh, of North Dakota. So we had we didn't have a Zamboni. Of course, it's like a ripply frozen there's twigs in there and you got to hop over a twig but that's where i learned and you know of course the neighborhood um you know you'd like flood part of the playground and so we had a lot of the outdoor rinks that we learned on I, that's amazing I, of course you did honestly like i'm not even remotely surprised we didn't have that in florida that wasn't a thing <laughs> yeah i thought not <laughs> so yeah Indoor ice rinks. Okay. All right. Hey, we're going to go to a commercial and then we'll check back in with you. Thanks for giving us the tour of Lions Hut this morning. Yeah. And, um, you know, are you freezing though? Do you need to go inside? You know, um, I actually, reminder, so I just, I just was texting Rachel and I was like, hey, I just, I need a quick bathroom break because one of my things that I'm trying to do right now is water. It's all because water coffee doesn't work. Well, it's water. Well, so make sure you have your mask with you because you use the restroom in Lion's Head, mostly the resorts owned. So you're going to need to have that mask with you in order to go into Starbucks and also to uh, hit up any of the public restrooms. So okay. make sure yep. you do that. Yeah, I don't think you need them in the Welcome Center, the one over by the parking structure. Oh, okay. that's That's fine. Okay. So if you forget your mask. 
Go to okay, the bathroom. We'll do. Buy the ice rink. He's we're giving you the you bathroom them, reports. So. Okay, all right. We're <laughs> going to go to a break. We'll be right back with more VDL. More information at VailYetiHockey.com. Go Yeti! to discover more together. All pass prices reduce 20%. Prices go up November 21st, so purchase yours now. A good night's sleep is important, but it's a little more difficult up at altitude in our beautiful Rocky Mountain towns. Here to tell us more about it, we have Gary Hansen, and he's with Altitude Control Technologies. You guys are actually based out of uh, Edwards, Colorado, we but we're at a beautiful home in Breckenridge learning about this technology. So let us know how we can get a better night's sleep with Altitude Control Technology. Sure. First, I'll tell you what we do is called altitude simulation, which basically is adding oxygen to bedrooms to bring the altitude down so that you don't suffer from altitude sickness symptoms. Yeah. We've been in business for over 20 years. We do work with Harvard Medical School, the Mayo Clinic, the United States Air Force Academy, the Navy. Olympic centers Olympic around centers the world. Olympic centers all around the world, professional athletic teams. Um, and so we've, we've been doing systems in the mountains for about uh, eight years or so, okay. and we have hundreds of them. Oh yeah, you know what, you think about Vail at what, 8,100 feet, Breckenridge, 9,600, you know, some of these homes that are up on the mountains, up in Bachelor Gulch or Cordillera. Sure. You know, I can imagine this, the word is getting out about this and, and people are wanting to have this technology in their home. How do we do it in the home? Like what, what, what goes on? So what we do is we put our system somewhere other than the bedrooms. We only oxygenate bedrooms because that's when you need it the most yeah. when you're sleeping. And we put our system somewhere other than the bedroom, like a garage or a crawl space. And then we pipe the oxygen to the bedrooms. We don't want you to hear or see anything in these bedrooms, and hopefully we'll show you that. Um, and so the system takes air in from outside, splits up the oxygen and the nitrogen. We send the nitrogen back out of the house and the oxygen to the bedrooms. Okay. And we increase the oxygen levels by about 30% to simulate an altitude that's close to sea level. Okay, and then we just have something like a little panel where yeah. we can watch what's going on. We do, it's we have a controller, and we're really the only company that has a controller with dual sensors, and the sensors monitor the oxygen saturation, the barometric pressure, and the CO2 in the room constantly, because you don't want to get too much oxygen yeah. in a room or you violate the National Fire Protection Code, but you want to make sure you're getting enough to actually get a physiological benefit from it. Okay, what's the response been? It's been very good. Um, we have, uh, references from all around the world. We actually have systems in South America, China, wow. Europe, but most of the ski towns and high mountain towns in the West, uh, we have systems in all of them and we have uh, people that tell us all the time, I'm only stay able to stay here because yeah. of your system. Yeah, definitely. And uh, getting that good night's sleep, feeling good, attacking the mountain, going skiing or hiking yep. or biking the exactly. next day yeah. is very important. Yeah. Okay, if we want to learn more, what's the best source? Do you guys have a website for us? We do. It's www.act-o2.com. Okay, if you want to learn more, give them a call. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Live Sotheby's International Realty, Colorado's leading real estate firm. Contact their Vail Valley broker professionals today to help you live the life you love. 
All right, 14 degrees outside uh, in Vail, a little bit cooler down Valley. We have a, an inversion going on. So down in Eagle, it's in the single digits still. And then as we get closer, or actually Eagle now is up to 10. Okay, awesome. Edwards, we're looking at 13. And Avon, 15 degrees out. You can see that sun getting a little bit higher in the sky. And for Vail today, we will be seeing highs in the low 40s. Here's a live look. You can see the sun hitting the mountains on the north side. We've got the Gore Range at the top part of your screen. And then uh, down below, we've got the Westvale exit, the roundabouts, and traffic moving along quite swimmingly today. But we'll see sunshine for today and really not much wind at all. So it will be chilly in the morning. But by the time you get going with your day, it, it will warm up and it should be pretty comfortable on the slope. So maybe a good idea to bring a backpack, maybe sh shed a layer once it gets a bit warmer. And then for the next couple of days, similar to today for your Tuesday, Wednesday will start outside. Sunny, start to see some clouds build by the afternoon. By Wednesday night, a 20% chance of snow showers. Mostly cloudy, will drop down into the 20s. And then Thursday, Friday, Christmas Eve day, Christmas day, a chance of snow. So we are really hoping that we're going to have an even whiter Christmas than we already have. But thanks to Live Sotheby's International Realty to the, for this weather. Um, just checking out the paper again a lot of things going on in there and we're going to start with kai owens uh, she is a vale valley local she claims her second world cup podium she's only 17 years old she was third in the alto west duo moguls so congrats to her we've got the full story on page 825 and then another of vale local river Radimus. he takes sixth place in the world cup gs uh, this is a 23-year-old Edward skier, puts on his best GS finish since Solden. He was here during the Birds of Prey. He did compete in the Super G, but great to hear that he's doing so well. Top 10 finish is always good news. And then we had the, uh, the Dew Tour just roll through town over across the pass in Summit County and Copper Mountain, and uh, Taylor Gold tops Sean White and places second in the Dew Tour. More on this, and you can find out what happened with Chloe Kim and Maddie Maestro in uh, the sports section of today's paper. And then speaking of sports, we have uh, Vail's own Merv Lapin. He's heading to Beijing Winter Olympics. This longtime local is the team leader for the U.S. W Women's Alpine hockey team so read about Merv he's got a, a fun history here in the Vail Valley more on this on page a4 and then Bodie Miller has been busy he's decided to uh, ramp up his own <clears throat> Bodie Miller Ski Academy this is gonna be out at Granby Ranch so pretty cool that we've got this going on with a, such a big name in the sport um, sharing his talents in Colorado. So you can check that out on A12 of today's paper. And uh, there he is, uh, Bodie Miller, with busy business partner, partner Andy Worth. So um, more details on A12 of today's Bill Daily. So lots of things in today's paper. Grab it if you can, or go online for more details. But um, are we going to take it out to Ashley? Okay, Ashley is standing by, braving the cold. Oh, look at that colorful display. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Trisha, listen, I, you know, we were talking about decorations in Lion's Head, and this is one of my favorite little corners of Lion's Head. You have to know where to look for it, but this is Vail Ski Tech. They're open from 8 to 6, currently hiring if anybody wants to make the Vail Valley their home or make, make the ski lifestyle more of a presence in their life. But I was just asking them about their light display because it is substantial. And apparently there's a guy named Keith, and it took him several <laughs> days to put all of this together, but it is so colorful. You can see they have all of their skis and snowboards lined up, ready to go. People's names are written on them and uh, they're, they're definitely prepared for a busy day ahead. Oh, awesome. And you know what else I love about that little nook that you're in over in Lion's Head is, and you're just up from that ice rink that you were at earlier, um, that park, the, um, and we kind of yeah. call it like the bird's nest. Let me nest. show you. Yes. I'll spin you around. So take a look. Ready? It's right behind us here. Yeah. Oh, oh it's right there. There it is. Yes. So cool. I mean, where else in the world do you find 
playgrounds that look like this. This is awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. I think this is like an award-winning playground. It won national awards and um, de you know, de devised from a group out of Denver and uh, just kind of, we call it like the nest, the little bird's nest. So um, yeah, if you're looking to wear out the kids, especially the kids that are kind of maybe too young for ski school and everything, like they love going to a little playground. So this could be a nice little daytime activity, especially Ashley, once it gets a little warmer. Uh, we're in the shadows now <laughs> for a while Ooh. and then we will see a little sun. <laughs> and, and then you know what? Yes. Tomorrow is our winter solstice. So that'll be the shortest oh day of the God. year. Trisha, I'm so glad you reminded me of that. I completely forgot. Usually I keep very close tabs yeah. on it, but I tell you what, yeah, standing here in the shade, it's not warm. <laughs> it's really <laughs> not warm. So, okay, all um, right. Make sure to bring those hand warmers with you or just be active, right? Like get out there and do a little, like some jumping jacks, get the arms moving, do a little playing on the playground. And you know, actually, Trisha, are you a Star Wars fan? Because I like th this little playground, it kind of reminds me of like, um, like where the Ewoks live. Oh, yeah. Know? Like in the totally. little forest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you just missed it, but clearly one of the employees at Rescue Tech. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Oh my gosh, okay. but yes. Wait. We're going to, okay, we're oh, going to take just, it to a break. I'm excited for that sun to hit the valley floor. Okay, look, yes. it's, it's starting. It's on I the rooftops. See it. it's I over see there. it over there. Okay. Here. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Ashley. We'll be back with more VDL after this. A good night's sleep can be harder to achieve at altitude. Altitude Control Technologies Full Room Oxygenation System scientifically simulates a lower altitude, no matter how high your mountain home may be. Increased oxygen levels facilitate better sleep and help to alleviate fatigue. The result is more energy, better mood, clarity of mind, and recovery from exercise. Contact Altitude Control Technology for a free consultation and start sleeping better after one night in your oxygenated room. The Ice Spectacular returns to Dobson Ice Arena in Vail on December 23rd. View the amazing ice skating talent from Olympic, World, International, Team USA, and other seasoned professionals, including Mirai Nagasu, 2018 Olympic medalist and U.S. national champion. This 90-minute show will provide high-energy entertainment for the whole family. More information and tickets are available online at veilskatefest.com. In the extraordinary, we're free to discover more together. All pass prices reduce 20%. Prices go up November 21st, so purchase yours now. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Betteridge. Find jewelry and watches with exceptional service since 1897, located in Solaris. All right, we're just a few minutes away from the lifts opening over on Vail Mountain, Beaver Creek. They'll open at 9 a.m., but it's going to be chilly if you're getting first chair this morning. So bundle up, but then once that sun gets a little higher in the sky, we're going to reach into the 40s. Currently, we're in the teens. Real feels feels like the single digits, and there's a live shot of Lion's Head for you. We've got the gondola running, and that will be loading people up in just a couple of minutes, and then also Chair 8 will be open for you as well out of Lion's said and there is top to bottom skiing on born free so you can head on down grab some lunch and end your day over in lion's head as well now later on today like i said the 40s will be dropping down to the teens overnight and then for your tuesday pretty similar we'll see the daytime high in the 40s overnight low back into the teens not a lot of wind today and then as we roll into Wednesday, that's where we're going to see a change. We'll start out with sunny skies, and then we'll start to see the clouds build into the evening, cloudy later on in the day, and then Wednesday night, a slight chance of showers. And then for your Thursday, we have a better chance of showers into Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday as well. So as Christmas Eve rolls into uh, round out the week, that's what the weather will be like. And then on Christmas Day, a chance of snow showers as well on Saturday, patchy, blowing snow 
know, so we could have some travel troubles on the holiday weekend. So just keep that in mind if you have friends coming up from maybe the Denver airport or the Fine and the Eagle or you're driving, you're going over the river and through the woods, uh, keep an eye on the roads for this weekend. But uh, let's take it out to Ashley right now and find out where she is. Okay, you're down there. Are there many people in line? Oh, I can see the sun. <laughs> Yes, the sun. I finally found a sunny spot, and actually, um, you know, we have some of the employees here that are working on on getting some of the, uh, the snow that's accumulated off the walkways. And because there's heated pavers here, it's creating this really beautiful steam. And then you have the sunshine, and then the the village is just buzzing. You have a lot of people making their way to uh, to get in line. You can see everybody's breath, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> It's so, it's so exciting though, Trisha, to see this village is so full of life, right? Like it's, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've actually been out here in time for the list to, to start turning almost, yeah. we're almost there, but it's just, oh, it's just such a good, it just, you can just tell that people are so thrilled to be here and there's a lot of smiles on people's faces and everybody's of course grabbing their gear and just, oh, what a beautiful time. I know. Here. You know what, and, and just taking time to kind of pause, and, and I know it's a hectic time for people as well, but yeah, just taking that pause and getting into the holiday spirit. Ashley, I just checked the VillarPAC.org website. Uh, tickets still available for Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol tonight at 7. And then the five rounds are tomorrow night. So it just add a little holiday celebration. It, it's just fun. Oh, yeah. And just walking through Beaver Creek Village to get to that venue puts yeah. you right in the holiday yeah. spirit. If you're not there already, when you when you arrive, you're gonna feel like you're walking through Winter Wonderland, a little, um, little snow globe to get to that yes. beautiful little space. And I love that at the Villard, there's not a bad seat in the house, right? No. It's just over 500 seats, so anywhere you are, it's a really intimate venue, and you know you're going to have a good view of the stage. Yeah, it's gorgeous over there. All right, well, hey, thank you so much for the tour. You must be cold because you've been outside for over an hour, but uh, we'll let you warm up, <laughs> and then uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And thank you, everyone, for watching today. Don't forget, you can uh, if you didn't catch the whole show, you can always check in on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, we're also a podcast on Spotify. And don't forget, you can always tune in now from 7.30 to 8.30 on Channel 17, Outside Television. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Trisha Swenson. I'm Brazzo. I'm Ashley. I'm Ken Hovey. I'm Meredith Kirkman. I'm Ty Diaz. I'm Charlie Kennedy. Veil Daily Live is here. Veil Daily Live is now. It's winter and we are back. Snow reports. Grooming updates. Road reports. Party info. Food and fun. Want to know where to get the best deals? We are your concierge of the Vale Valley. VDL streams everywhere. On the mountain, off the mountain. On every screen. On Facebook, YouTube. On Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Spotify. And now, we're on Outside TV 17. Live and on demand, seven days a week, starting at 7.30 a.m. We are VDL. We are VDL. We are VDL. Bell Daily Live. We are VDL. VDL. We are VDL.